We chose to focus on the pictures based on what was unique to the way the photographer takes his pictures. For Cortez and Kinski, we chose to focus on the shadows. For Moholy Nagi, we chose to focus on the light. For Kappa, we chose to focus on the intensity of the war pictures. Andre Cortez was born in Hungary in 1894 and in 1925 moved to Paris, the artistic capital of the world at the time. Due to the threat of Jewish persecution in the Holocaust, he immigrated to the United States in 1936. Using a camera that was similar to this one, Andre Curtis took incredible photos. Andre Curtis uses light and shadows to exemplify everyday life. In his photos, you can tell that he tries to capture the little things in life that matter. Despite his successes, after his career was over, Curtis felt generally unrecognized as a photographer. Imre Kinski uses angles to give different perspectives on Hungarian life. He focused on capturing motion and speed, architecture, and city life. Kinski was born in Budapest, Hungary in 1901. During World War II, he was forced to work in labor camps in both Romania and Hungary. Sadly, in 1945, he died on his way to a concentration camp in Germany. His techniques such as angling his camera up give an interesting perspective on a normal Hungarian life. His diagonal angle used to show the train gives a better perspective on what having pouring rain is like in Hungary. Born in Hungary in 1895, Laszlo Maholina Game moved to Chicago in 1937 to become the director of the new graduate school, the Institute of Technology, which focused on integrating technology and industry into the arts. Whereas Kinsey and Cortez use mainly shadows, Maholi Nagy focuses on using light to his benefit. <laughs> makes objects light up and glow. His legacy includes the Maholi Nagi University of Art and Design in Budapest, which was named in his honor. Born in Budapest, Hungary in 1913, Robert Kappa left home at the age of 18. He was a combat photographer and photojournalist traveling right in the action. He covered the Spanish Civil War, the Second Sino-Japanese War, World War II, the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, also known as the War of Independence, and the First Indochina War. Unfortunately, when he was documenting the First Indochina War in 1954, he stepped on a landmine and shortly after died. He gets close and personal with soldiers to identify the hardships through action photos. He shapes his photos to see the emotion and feeling expressed in that. All of the interwar Hungarian photographers discussed have left a tremendous amount of information on the time period via their photographs, each in their own unique ways.